happy holiday girl. Who says you have to wait until certain times of the year to get to celebrate? When every day's a holiday, we can combat stress and have more opportunities to have fun with our friends and family. Come celebrate with me and together we can live a holiday life. Hey, what's going on holiday lifers? It's your girl Gabby and today is National Wear Your Pearls Day. A day completely dedicated toward wearing the mistakes and struggles that we've had in life with pride, with confidence, knowing that each day we have the opportunity to be better and better. Every day we grow on the previous day's experience. So any mistakes we previously have made in life, they don't matter. Each day is a new day. We have new wisdom, new growth, and we are very blessed to be able to conquer every obstacle in life. And with doing so, we have the chance to wear our pearls and help inspire and motivate others around us to look past what might seem like a mistake and take that opportunity to learn from it with pride. Today, we're going to talk about a few inventions that were first deemed mistakes, but soon revolutionized the entire world. So sit back, grab your pearls and get ready to learn. Stay tuned. To start things off, I don't want people to have the impression that I think that every mistake is just easy and miraculous to get over. I am very aware that some of the things we do in life can be very painful. They can impact others in at times very negative ways or ourselves in very painful ways. But I do believe that every experience is an opportunity to grow from and an opportunity to help impact whether it be your own life or somebody else's life. No bad experience or good experience is ever wasted. It's all for our own personal growth and development. So in thinking about today, it's important to be kind to yourself. And if you have made a mistake that for some reason you're not proud of, maybe uh, it's been a bit hard to get over. In this moment, just for right now, remember that who you are in this exact moment is not whatever that mistake you did because in this moment right now being very present you are listening to a podcast you are doing whatever you are doing about your house about your job and your car wherever you're listening to this and that previous mistake that previous person at this moment does not exist you are who you are right now and in that moment take the opportunity to be empowered and to know that you have the opportunity the chance to change and to be someone new this day so the past person who maybe was living in a way that you don't feel reflects who you are in this moment, forget about that person because they no longer exist. You cannot go back into the past. That past is just a memory that you have to erase out of your mind. I know it sounds easier said than done. In this moment, I am very aware of what I'm asking you to do. And my hope is that with these words, I can encourage you to maybe just maybe forgive yourself. There's a song that me and my kids, we sing every night. It's Ephesians 4.32. My husband sings it as well. And I'll sing it for you right now for the purpose of uh, hopefully helping you to wear your pearls with pride today and be a bit kinder to yourself. So it's Ephesians 4.32. The song goes like this. I want you to be kind one to another, tender hearted, forgiving one another, just as Christ has forgiven you, but do, do. Ephesians 4.32, yeah. <laughs> now guys, I'm not trying to claim to be the best singer or anything like that, but the words are powerful. I teach my kids every day that in life, people are gonna hurt your feelings. You're gonna make a mistake. Most likely you're gonna hurt somebody else's feelings. But my belief is that if my children, if there's nothing else that they remember about mommy in this lifetime, if they know that in life, you're going to get hurt, but you have to be able to forgive. You have to forgive and you have to be kind to one another. There are going to be people all around who have more, who have less, who have needs. And if you can acknowledge those other people and just try to be kind, that really matters. And so, um, so yeah, uh, that might have gone a bit on a tangent from uh, what I originally told you I was going to talk about. We'll get to the inventors and, and the mistakes that revolutionized the world. But it was important to me that for my listeners, 
who have taken the time to log onto my podcast every day, that I encourage you today and that you know that who you are in this moment is great. You have the opportunity to create a brand new day. You have the opportunity to create a brand new tomorrow. So any things that you may be holding on to that are less than the best of who you want to be right now, go ahead and let it go. And for the sake of today, wear your pearls, choose to encourage somebody else around you and know that as you seek to encourage somebody else, I'm doing what I can to encourage you. And so we're going to enjoy today. With that being said, let's continue on with the podcast. Okay, guys. So in my family, my husband has found this kids television show called Biz Kids. It's absolutely wonderful. It teaches children about being business savvy and starting their own enterprise and how to manage money. So um, it's kind of funny. Whenever I was Googling different inventions, different mistakes, quote unquote, that actually turned out to revolutionize the world, Biz Kids showed up. So today I'm going to reference two of the inventions that revolutionized the world off of the Biz Kids website. I'll have it linked in my show notes description. It's a great show for you and your kids to watch if you want to encourage them to be entrepreneurs. For number one on the list of inventions that went on to make millions of dollars, we have Play-Doh. According to bizkids.com, the world-renowned Play-Doh clay was actually supposed to clean dirty wallpaper, but it didn't work well. Fortunately for the failing company that invented it, Creative Kids found another use for the stuff. Chalk went up to childlike imagination. Can you believe that? Play-Doh was supposed to be used to clean wallpaper. I, why? <laughs> the story behind Play-Doh is actually pretty interesting. It was originally created to clean wallpaper in the 1930s. What happened was after World War II, homes went from using charcoal to warm up their houses to using natural gas. Well, that putty that was used to clean the charcoal marks off the wall now was no longer needed. So the company that was manufacturing the product at the time was facing bankruptcy. That's whenever they hired a gentleman by the name of Joe McVicker. He joined the guitar company with the hopes of helping to save it from reaching bankruptcy. But it wasn't just him who actually saved the company. In fact, his wife had a major part to play in the story plot. So what had happened was McVicker's wife was a school teacher and she had found an article in a newspaper suggesting that the modeling compound could be used as an arts and craft toy for kids. So she took the modeling compound to her students and they loved it. They had a great time playing with it. It was then that she took the idea to her husband, suggesting that the product be remarketed as a kid's play toy. And that was history. But what's crazy about it is we get the perspective of seeing that whole story play out over decades. So we're able to see the success of Play-Doh while at the beginning, the initial investment in time that it took making this putty compound to clean wallpaper came at a very bad time with less homes using charcoal, switching natural gas and the introduction of washable vinyl at the time, cleaning putty was a horrible investment. But one person's mistake, given the right perspective, can turn into a great invention. And for our second and last quote unquote mistake that made history, we are again going to reference bizkids.com with Velcro. The history of Velcro is actually attributed to a dog. According to the website, when burrs got stuck in a dog's fur, its owner took them home to his microscope where he discovered the hooks he would later replicate in the now familiar product. So unfortunately, the dog's pain with the burrs did wind up being a benefit for the rest of us and for all of our little kids' shoes with Velcro. And now it's time for our PB&J moment of the day. In honor of National Wear Your Pearls Day, go out and grab yourself a fresh strand of pearls <laughs> or fake ones. If you're crafty like I am, you can actually go to Michael's or Joann's and grab a strand of pearls. They're not very expensive, maybe around four or five dollars for a cheap little strand and you can make a cute necklace yourself. And because Christmas is coming up, if you are a Christmas celebrator, you can actually make a pretty strand of pearls and give it as a necklace or a bracelet to a loved one. So what do you think? After today's podcast, are you willing to see the mistakes in your life with new perspective today? 
maybe just maybe they're actually your successes. Head on over to aholidaylife.com now for more holiday fun. There you can sign up to receive a free monthly calendar full of fun holiday activities for every day. You can also leave me a voicemail of what you're doing to celebrate the holiday. You might be on my next episode. Also, if you like my podcast, please be sure to subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Google Play, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcast from. You can follow me on social media by using at A Holiday Life on Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest, and at A Holiday Life Podcast on Instagram. And for more holiday fun, head on over to my sister podcast, Holiday Trivia, to give my trivia questions a shot. If you get three or more out of five questions correct, you're well on your way to becoming a holiday lifer. Until next time, keep celebrating the holidays, stay safe, and live a holiday life. I'll talk to you tomorrow.